Okay guys, so this faceless YouTube channel has earned over $40,000 from uploading these historical documentary videos. And if we take a closer look, they started uploading only about a year ago. Generally speaking, their videos get millions of views and are actively trending, so this niche still has lots of potential. Moreover, they managed to get more than 8 million views across all videos. Well, looks like we have work to do. So, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can start your own YouTube automation channel using this method. That's right, guys. If you have the patience to watch this video until the end, you will have all the knowledge needed to start your own YouTube automation business. No cap. We will literally do everything from writing scripts, creating the voiceover, generating images with AI, editing, and much more. By the end of the video, you are literally going to be a YouTube automation expert. To show you the proof, here's a quick clip of the video I was able to create in this course you are about to watch. Fast forward to the classical period, which saw the rise of influential civilizations, such as the Greeks and the Romans. The Greeks, known for their philosophy, art, and literature, laid the foundation for Western civilization, built a vast- So there are actually five parts to creating the actual video, but I'm also going to be revealing one last tip at the end of the video that I've learned from running my successful YouTube channel that will allow you to actually make money from running such a channel. That's what you are here for, right? People usually pay thousands of dollars for this information by buying courses, but I will give it to you for free, so make sure you listen. Today is a big one, guys, so you better get comfortable. For your convenience, I will add a Google Doc in the description with the step-by-step -step blueprint that you can follow along. All the links will be there as well. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps to grow. Okay now, are you ready for this? Let's go! All right, so the intro is done. Uh, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be creating a historical documentary together. But let, let me go over everything step by step. Just stick around for a few minutes. I will explain everything. You're not going to regret uh, staying in this video and learning more. So let's get everything done in order, right? So now, obviously, this is the channel you're watching right now, AI Guy. This is where I create tutorials and this is the channel I've been growing so far. I also have a live channel, which I might in 34 days but i don't really post there anymore because i don't really see the point of this channel as of now however i didn't get it monetized in 30 days so obviously this channel is also monetized and generally speaking i've been posting youtube videos for about eight months now right but more or less this channel and the live channel they were always in the educational niches i've been wanting to do something fundamentally different so this is another channel i have AI history and all the content it has so far ai created shorts that i created in tutorial actually for demonstration purposes so every single short video that it has it was created by me live in my tutorials so i wanted to take this channel further because it already has 700 subs and if we go into the youtube studio yes actually i'm monetized so I, I really do know what i'm talking about but so if we go into this channel's youtube studio we can see obviously it has 725 subs and in order to get monetized basically it needs either 10 million well when i say monetized to be eligible for monetization it needs 10 million shorts views right or 4,000 uh, watch hours. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be creating the first long form video for this channel. And my goal is my intention here is to turn this channel into a brand. And like I said, into a media, like I'm talking BBC, I'm talking Vice News, and it can totally be done. And the main focus and intention here is to do all of that using AI for the most part. Of course, eventually this channel will be 100% outsourced and I'll be just creating the process. But in the initial stages of creating it, I want to be utilizing AI as much as possible, a bunch of AI tools, because we are living in times where it's just so affordable. It's such a low entry business model, so anyone can do it and I'm going to prove it. And I don't know how long it's going to take to get it monetized, how many videos it's going to take. Surely it's not going to be just done in one video. It's probably going to take many, many videos, like at least 20, 30 videos. Okay, now right away, I wanted to uh, bring some clarity into my content. Like a lot of people ask me, uh, why uh, cover so many niches? Why don't I just focus on one? Well, you see, ultimately, I believe you have to be creating videos about the niche you're passionate about. So for example, recently I made this tutorial about anime shorts, uh, a great niche. And it's not only about the shorts it's also can be turned into long form content and if you for example like anime and if you want to proceed in this niche this tutorial is for you however i don't like anime i don't watch it i don't enjoy it most importantly i don't understand the market of anime so i however i understand the market of history i like watching historical documentaries so that is why i'm choosing this youtube automation niche to continue and to move forward and again this i know here's the thing i know a lot of people are going to copy me naturally of course this is a tutorial 
but I'm talking to you now. If you actually want to use the knowledge I'm providing in this video and actually succeed with it, don't copy me like word for word, step by step. Use the techniques and combine it with your own ideas and implement it. That way you will succeed. I guarantee you that if you're just gonna, because there, there were some, I've seen some channels where people would literally like in this video, I created the shorts, right? And I saw some people literally copying my video scripts word for word, like the, the videos that I created. And then they asked me uh, in my Telegram community, why? I'm not seeing any results. Well, because ultimately, in order to succeed, you have to create somewhat original content that people have never seen before. At least it should be, it, it cannot be copied and succeed. Like it just, it's not how it works. Uh, but anyway, what are we doing today exactly? So yeah, we're creating a historical documentary and this is gonna be a long series. Like I said, everything is gonna be documented and public. So as always, I've prepared this Google Doc for you guys where you can go on here, you can uh, see what's gonna be happening in this video, exactly how we are gonna be creating the whole thing. Uh, as of now, it's kind of short. I just created this kind of for myself to follow along, but normally it looks like this, where it has all the links and exact steps that you need to take. For today's video, these are the tools I'm going to be using. Uh, so the first thing you could naturally do is just click on all the links, open all of them in the browser. So it's just going to be easier and faster uh, for you to move around, sort of. There's one thing you have to download in advance is CapCut. So you cannot just open it in the browser. That's the editing, editing software I use. So obviously, naturally, it'll be easier for you to use that software if you want to follow along. Uh, obviously, I'm also going to be using TubeMagic, actually an amazing AI tool I came across recently for uh, script writing and optimizing SEO and some more things. We will get back to it later. We'll also use Leonardo AI for generating images. And then we're going to use 11 Labs for the voiceover. Obviously, we're going to use Epidemic Sound for the music background and uh, Canva or Canva is paid. So you could use Photopea if you don't want to pay as a free alternative. It's like a Photoshop online for free. So the goal here is to have a monetized faceless AI channel in the historical niche done by AI for the most part like it says here so really I'm not acting like I'm the first person to come up with this concept to create a historical documentary channel right like there's a bunch of them but barely anybody utilizes AI for the most part most of the channels or companies that hire people sure that's cool that's also something I'll be doing in the near future but my purpose here or my goal is to show how to utilize AI and just basically teach you guys how to replace people with AI basically and like I said previously at least I have the vision of turning it into a brand slash large media company you know like when i say large brand or media company like i'm talking you know vice something you know with 18 million subs we can totally do that with ai so how are we actually going to do that first of all obviously you need the channel logo and branding i already have the channel logo and branding all of that ai guy history uh, obviously if you want to learn how to do all of that if we go to my channel real quick uh you can watch this video it's going to appear like right here right here I went over everything you could possibly need to know. I'm also gonna have the link here, but just open it in a different tab. Don't click off the video just now because honestly, that's the least important part, having the channel. The most important part is the content. That's what we're doing today. Then we're gonna create the script and the video idea using Tube Magic. Again, like I said, the new AI tool I came across recently. We're gonna get back to it later. Trust me, guys, it's gonna get exciting. So voiceover is gonna be done with 11 labs, but if you watch my videos, I'm sure you've seen it before. So as far as visuals, we are gonna combine ChatGPT and Leonardo AI to create like astonishing B-roll and really whatever we wanna see, we're gonna see, all right? So we're just literally gonna tell ChatGPT, hey, we're gonna need this person standing in front of this castle or whatever, and we're gonna have it just like that. Obviously, we're gonna edit everything in CapCut and uploading plus SEO stuff will be done with the help of TubeMagic, but again, we're gonna get back to it later, so keep watching. Oh, I forgot to add the thumbnail. It's gonna be done in Canva, but now let's actually get started. So before we actually start creating the videos, I wanted to prove to you guys that there is actually money to be made and I wanted to show you already established successful channels in the niche you know otherwise if there is no money to be made why are we even doing this uh, so if we navigate to this channel called beginning to now which has started posting recently this or like a year ago I've been tracking it they really blew up fast and if we copy their link and go to social blade already done that so they are earning about 3.7 thousand a month but knowing what I know now like given the fact that they post over like two hour three hour videos they make a whole lot more than just 3000 I, I just know it for a fact or there is another channel called the armchair historian which has posted over 245 videos and it has 2.24 million subscribers and he according to social blade he's making about 18.3 thousand per month so and that's not including the products they could be possibly promoting like he's promoting some kind of a steam game and other products so there's a, like this can be genuinely turned into a brand into a like youtube business so without wasting any time let's get 
started. And since this is going to be like a long series, I'm going to make a whole lot more videos covering this channel and content creation for this channel. In today's video, we're going to we're going to create like a five minute video or I think an eight minute video because, you know, obviously this channel, he creates two, three hour videos. We're not going to do that today because it's just kind of crazy for the first video. But yeah, today we're going to replicate this channel where they create shorter videos like, you know, eight to 20 minute videos. So but I'm going to do something sneaky today. Um, this is I'm going to implement the lesson that I actually taught in this course of mine uh, where I talked about starting a new channel. So what we're going to do today, uh, we're not just going to we're not going to take a guess as far as the topic of our video. We're actually going to replicate a successful video. So if we go to their channel. Yes. Yeah, so this video has 4.3 million views in eight months and it's getting around like 400 views per hour. So obviously it's trending. Obviously it's in demand. It's getting views. So it'll be easy for us to start off a fresh channel with this video. So it's called the entire history of human civilization. I'm just going to copy it real quick. So this is where one of our first AI tools comes into the picture to magic. So let's open it from the Google Doc and uh, log in. I already created the account, but it's pretty straightforward. Just click on get started, uh, type in your Gmail. So for full transparency, this tool is not free. You can get it for either $47 a month or if you choose an annual plan, you can pay $444 at once and get it at the cost of $37 per month, essentially. But if you're sitting there and thinking, oh, wait, that's too expensive. Not really, because well, today I'm going to be using it for the script writing purposes, for title generation purposes, for description uh, generation purposes and uh, to get the tags, right? Because I already kind of have the video idea. It can also get you the video idea, by the way. But if we apply some math here, a if you order a script from a script writer, for example, for a freelancer, a professional, a professionally written script will cost you about 30 to $50 per one script, just one script. With this tool, it's going to cost you about $47 per month and you can get unlimited amount of scripts, which is quite crazy if you ask me. And it's obviously going to save you a lot of money if you're, again, if you're planning to start this channel as a brand and a media. Okay, so now let's actually get uh, go back to get our video idea. It was the entire history of human civilizations. Now, once you are in, so once you logged in and created your account, let's actually navigate to video ideas. So I already chose the video idea. Obviously, we're just going to replicate their most popular video. But let's say if you're in a different niche or you have no channel to replicate or you simply want to get inspired by other channels and get a video idea from them, you could navigate here. The first tab is video ideas. Click on it. Now let's uh, copy their username because it's who we're modeling, right? And just insert it right here. Now uh, TubeMagic is going to analyze this channel and provide us with video ideas. That's actually a good idea to keep in mind for the future. But for the first video, I want to do the entire history of human nature because uh, to me, it seems like a more like a bro topic. It, it'll get more views and more exposure for our new channel. So so that's what we are going to create today. So now let's again copy the topic of this video. Now we are going to navigate to TubeMagic. And at this point, we're going to start scripting and creating our video. So to get a video script, obviously just navigate to scripting, click on video scripting. And here at the bottom, we can select the video length. So once you hit the video script, you will see this menu. Now at the bottom, you can select the length of the or the amount of words that you want to have for your video. Now let's navigate here on the information. So roughly 2000 words is about a 15 minute video. 1.5 K words is a 10 minute video and 800 words is uh, roughly five minutes. Of course, it depends on the AI tool you're using for the voiceover or your own voice pace if you're you know old-fashioned and using a human for the voiceover right so now but I think in today's video we're going to go somewhere in the middle let's do again like 1.5k words is a 10 minute video so let's do like roughly seven eight minute video so I'm going to go with uh, 1200 words you could also create scripts for shorts which uh, or for how-to videos or you could also create script outlines uh for your own videos to like navigate and read along but in today's video we're going to go with this feature obviously so let's go with 1200 words and now paste our title and uh, hit generate now obviously give it a few seconds and it is going to provide us with the script wow and here we have the script it literally it's literally been like what 20 seconds maybe 10 seconds and uh i can tell right away that it actually looks pretty interesting usually when i try to generate scripts with the uh, chat gpt it would give me like generic boring scripts you know let's dive it would use the words like let's dive in like you know but this script looks actually pretty cool it's decent and we're going to give it a try so uh yeah so i think at this point we're just gonna click save and yeah 
it's gonna be saved into our scripts library now we're gonna copy this script entirely and uh yeah let's now navigate to 11 labs if you don't have an account with 11 labs you can uh, use my link in the google doc so actually I could give you an advice real quick. Create a Google Doc and just put your script in there for the time being. And and when you create scripts with 11 labs, use about 500 characters at a time. So this way, the voiceover will actually sound pretty cool and not like robotic or something like this. So just take my word. So just believe me when I say it. with 11 labs, use about 500 characters at a time. Now also for full transparency here as well, you cannot use 11 labs for free and create monetized content. Yes, you can use it for free for like learning purposes. Uh, but yes, as it says right here, license to use 11 labs for commercial use. So th this is one of the most popular questions that I get on my channel, how to get AI monetizable voiceover. This is the one, this is what you want to use. Personally, I believe I use this plan, creator plan. This is more than enough for me to create my videos with AI guy, like when I create the AI character videos so yeah but you can get started with a dollar you can use my link in the description for this purpose as well uh but yeah let's actually click here on the speech and so now we have to so now we have to choose the voice so 11 labs has a lot of voices feel free to listen through them and choose the one you like uh also i believe they have a uh, voice library i'm not so familiar with their new interface yes yeah, so uh, we can navigate here on the left voices and go to voice library now let's actually listen through some of them and select the one we like the most So I've already listened through the first couple of them. I don't like any of them. So let's immediately set some filters. Obviously my channel is called AI guys. So it's, it should probably be a male voice. So I'm going to go here and choose male. I'm also going to choose the tag narrative and story because obviously this is like a narrative type video. And now let's again, listen through some of them. I like this look it's uh, i'm gonna go with this one also a good thing to keep in mind when you're choosing a voice look right here so it represents how many audios were generated with this voice meaning how good it actually is and according to the like majority's opinion so i wouldn't suggest going with this voice because it was only used like 100,000 times obviously but yeah this one was used uh 60 million times so i guess it's a good voice we're just gonna name it as luke history and now let's actually start copying our script so let's just get the first i usually go with two paragraphs at a time uh just go click on finish so go to speech synthesis right here and just paste your voice now choose the one we just added look history uh in the settings just leave them on default i wouldn't mess with them as far as the voice model just choose 11 lab as far as the voice model just hit right here and choose 11 multilingual version 2 that's the best one they have and yeah now hit generate so it just generated let's give it a listen and to be honest it kind it's kind of too boring like it sounds like the narrator is about to fall asleep so the viewers are not going to watch it fully obviously like it's it's kind of too, a little too boring so what we can do to fix it is go to similarity uh i already fixed it accidentally uh but it was at around 70 now let's try to bring it to about 50 and the speaker boost was on now let's turn it off and i believe with these settings we're actually going to get a decent generation so let's try it again yeah i like it way more so at this point let's immediately start storing this footage somewhere so we're going to need CapCut for this purpose so at this point open CapCut and just to keep everything organized uh have you know download the voiceover files right away into CapCut instead of you know importing them later on from pc so just open CapCut, create a new project file before you import or do anything in CapCut, there is one thing that is important you have to do so on the right side go to modify and make sure that the ratio is chosen as 16 by 9 and that the free layer is turned on 
it's very important just trust me now click save and let's start importing the our voice files so on the bottom right uh, click on the download and just start throwing them in now i'm going to speed this up because it's it's a matter of copy pasting but yeah basically you want to be uh, copy pasting the entire script into 11 labs and yeah start generating it so here we have our audio i've generated the remaining ones off camera to keep the video moving obviously uh but yet yeah, so the next step will be generating the b-roll but however before we actually import any images in here let's immediately edit some things in the voiceover so the first thing we need to do obviously is to cut pauses because if we're going to leave this video as it is with a lot of pauses nobody's gonna watch the video fully you always have to cut the pauses so in order to do that just uh, zoom in uh, hit on b to get the blade tool and just click right here once and right here once and then select click on a and click on delete that's how you remove the pause very simple or in other ways you can just navigate like this and then click on ctrl b to just split it wherever you want to split it and hit on delete and that's how you remove a pause uh, but i've done this before in my channel uh, multiple times i think at this point you guys should know how to remove pauses so again i'm going to speed this part up to keep the video moving and i'll see you in a moment when i'm going to remove all the pauses So the way I actually cut the pauses, as you can see, I literally cut them all at once throughout the whole video. And then I delete them all at once throughout the whole video. That way, from my experience, this is the fastest ultimate way to do this. Yeah, so now just click around on the empty parts and spam delete until you finish deleting all the pauses. Okay, so once you have cut all the pauses, removed obviously the blank parts and have organized the voiceover, it should look something like this. So yeah, almost little to no empty bits in it. That, that right here is a secret to a viral video. One of the key elements at least. Just if you don't believe me, seriously, go on YouTube, look at any viral video with like a million views or, or more and just pay attention or you can actually video put it into CapCut and compare the voice track to the one you will have without the uh, pauses and you will understand them right so trust me this is an this is an extremely important part yes it takes time yes it's annoying sometimes but it is what it is so the next part on our list is uh creating the visuals now we're gonna need two tools for this chat gpt and leonardo ai uh, i use chat gpt4 which is obviously a paid version if you don't want to if you don't have chat gpt4 you don't want to pay for it uh you could use alternatively google bard for this purpose it works just fine as well so but i am going to go to uh leonardo ai as well so this is the second tool i'm going to be using uh oh again for full transparency leonardo ai offers a free plan i don't know if it's going to be enough to create like a full documentary video probably not but it provides 150 free tokens per day so it is enough for sure for like creating a single youtube short for example using this same strategy uh but yeah if you want to create something monetizable and again successful in the long run you will have to pay for it as well i'm personally using this one for 30 dollars a month uh, so for me it's enough uh, you could try it for again you could try it for free in the beginning make sure you like it and then consider buying it but if you do want to buy it you could use my link in the google doc uh this one so it's going to give you a discount uh, but with that being said let's uh, move on to chat gpt and write the following prompt so i wrote the following prompt let's play a game you will be my image prompt producer i'll be posting so I wrote the following prompt. Let's play a game. You will be my image prompt producer. I will be pasting here one paragraph at a time of my script and you'll be providing me with visuals for it. To be precise, you'll be giving me three prompts for each paragraph uh, that will match uh, the storyline and create compiling visuals. So it replied to me that it is ready. Let's make sure it's GPT-4. And now let's go to our script and start providing it with paragraph at a time. So just like that. Okay, so it gave us the prompts. We have three prompts right here. And uh, let's just continue doing it. Again, I'm going to speed this part up to keep the video moving. But yeah, at this point, just copy paste uh, the paragraphs into ChatGPT. I will add this prompt right now to the Google Doc. Uh, just so you guys can just quickly copy it for me. Uh, but yeah, see you when all the prompts are generated.
So, ChatGPT is finishing up with uh, generating our last three prompts. And uh, yeah, with that being said, we have all of our prompts ready to go. Here are, here's all of them. And uh, the next step is obviously to go to Leonardo AI. So once the prompts are ready, let's go to Leonardo AI. And uh, what we can do now is go to image generation on the left, click on it. And uh, now let's configure the generation model we're gonna be using. So I'm going to be using Photoreal as this is one of my favorite generation models that is available on Leonardo AI. Uh, there's many more that you could try, but yeah, I'm just, but yeah, I'm just gonna go with this one. So uh, I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to click on here and I'm going to select V2 and I'm going to select Leonardo Kino XL. Again, this is the best one uh, in my opinion. So yeah, what we can do now is, well, we just uh, start copying the prompts into Leonardo AI literally one by one. So this is kind of a boring part, but yeah, that way we're going to have, oh, I forgot to do one last thing. Uh, on the left, select the 16 by nine and basically 1536 by 864. That's just uh, the highest quality uh, resolution and uh, yeah now let's hit generate with the right aspect ratio and yeah do this again and again until all of the images are ready to go and generated and i guess i will again speed this uh, part up to keep the video moving So our footage is almost done generating. Honestly, this is like the most uh, time consuming and exhausting part, but I mean, I mean it is what it is. Uh, do keep in mind that, you know, in a matter of, I mean, this probably took me like realistically um, 10, 15 minutes if you're gonna be doing this for the first time and you're not really sure like where to click because I've done this multiple times on multiple channels. So, you know, I just knew where to click and I was fast with it, natural. But if you're gonna be doing this for the first time, this can maybe take you 30 minutes. But again, at the cost of, uh, depending on pl what plan you choose, let's say you choose this plan, it should be enough to create at least one video per month. But, oh wait, I, I think I had at the, st at the start of this video, I had like closer to 22,000 credits, maybe 21.6, something like that. And now it's to uh, 20,900. So, and this is going to be enough footage for a whole video. So you go do the math. It's uh, yeah, I'm wrong with uh, saying that $12 is going to be enough for one video. It's going to be enough for like, you know, five to six to seven, eight videos, something like this. But um, yeah, our images are almost done generating. Once they are all done generating, we are going to be exporting all of them to CapCut. And uh, then we obviously need to edit them. Uh, we need to apply some music background music to it we need to export we need to create a thumbnail and uh, yeah we need to and then we'll finish our video once the thumbnail is done we're again gonna use uh, tube magic to create the seo like keywords and create description the best version of the title for the video as well so uh, yeah let's check if the generations are done uh, i think let's just start exporting them at least uh, in parts so uh reminding you i did start pasting them in three so uh i guess let's just start downloading them in three so one two three and i guess we finished up here so that way we do them one by one but we, don't, we definitely don't get confused with them and immediately let's uh start paying attention in what order they are so again yeah this was Okay, this seems uh, like the right order. Right away, you do want to deselect this uh, turn off main track net. Uh, sorry, turn off uh, main track magnet at the top right or on the right. Yeah, I can't speak. Once you record uh, for so long, you just cannot speak. Uh, but anyway, now let's uh, download the next three pictures. Those look amazing, by the way. Like, look at this. This is easily replacing a bunch of artists. And this was done in 20 minutes. So many pictures. Just look at it. Like... It's, I, I mean, I've done this so many times, but every time I look at it, I cannot believe my eyes. Just look at the detail. It's all, it's all AI in a matter of prompt. Like at first glance, you wouldn't be able, you, you would not be even be able to tell that uh, these are not real humans. Or at least if you, sh if you were to show this to someone who just is not around AI, doesn't know about it, they would never be able to tell that it's like fake. Anyway, let's, uh, okay, I got this, uh, Got distracted there, so let's continue with uh, importing our pictures.
Just at all times, make sure you are importing them in the right order. Otherwise, it's just going to create mess in the editing part later on. Okay, so all of the images, so all the images are now in CapCut, <clears throat> as you guys can see. So now what we need to do is we obviously need to extend the pictures. We need to align them with the, you know, with the audio so it makes sense. Uh, we need to edit, obviously, apply some effects. We need to add captions, we need to add music, and we need to export it, do all that stuff. So uh, I guess let's do some of the minor edits right away. Um, again, I'm new to this niche. I'm new to the historical niche, so I'm not sure how much editing is required. From the research I've done from our, you know, competition channel, if we can call it, they do barely any editing. As we can see, they just apply like one or two effects on the picture. Actually, they're doing what I'm doing here, you know? Like I looked at it immediately and I saw, hey, they're using AI um, generated visuals, but no one is even talking about it in their comment section. So, and uh, that's partially why I believe they're blowing up so fast because they are able to generate whatever they want to generate yeah because if you're using traditional b-roll providers like storyblocks or pixab pixabay whatever they're great but they're really kind of limited so anyway now let's go back to our video uh and let's start applying a few effects to it like i mentioned they really don't they really don't do heavy editing is what i was trying to say uh so we're just gonna do this video as a sample it's only gonna be four minutes I, i'm just gonna see how it's gonna perform play around with it uh, look, work with the data and then in the future uploads for these series we're gonna you know look at the metrics and then go based on that for now um, I think so anyway what I was trying to say we're gonna apply like maybe one or two major effects throughout the whole video and then one effect per picture so but again they're gonna be repetitive and very simple effects that anyone can implement no fancy editing today so uh, first things we need to do is click on the tra uh, turn on main track magnet right here and extend it so that it covers the entire video that's definitely too long so just maybe a bit shorter you just kind of need to catch it select again maybe we can okay so i guess that will do uh if i don't, I don't think it really matters that much so i also actually found uh, some mistakes in the chronological order of the pictures and like i mentioned previously it is really important to uh you know keep an eye on that on uh, keeping the chronological order obviously because well wouldn't that be weird if the uh, narrator is talking about pyramids for example and we have some uh, busy street market here that would be quite weird so uh, let's uh, organize them and let me just show you an illustration of uh, how to do that quickly so yeah that's an order now let's uh that's good that's good now the pyramids yeah, so now let's get this one uh, in here. That's the one. So let's just quickly see what follows library, then the office. Yeah, I think they're good. Yeah, okay. So yeah, now make sure they're all just, uh, you know, aligned with the audio. Okay, perfect. So uh, again, yeah, like I said many times now, they didn't really have many effects. So I think what we're going to do now is we are going to listen through the audio and uh, we're just gonna see if you know if the pictures are logically matching the text or the narrator whatever I'll just decrease the volume for now so that it just doesn't blast for you guys welcome back to our channel today we're going to take a journey through time and explore the entire history of human civilizations from the earliest known civilizations to the modern world we live in today we'll cover it all so grab a seat and get ready to dive into the fascinating story of humanity our journey begins around 10,000 bce when humans transitioned from a nomadic lifestyle to i think right away um you know whatever we'll keep the slow pace in the remaining of the video but think uh, up to this point let me hear it listen again back to our channel today we're going to take a journey through time and explore the entire history of human civilizations from the earliest known civilizations to the modern world we live in today so i want to actually copy paste a few pictures from the video so that um you know so there there is a bunch of pictures in the first second so that it just grabs the viewer's attention 
so what I'm doing now is I'm just holding down the control key and I'm just selecting the ones that I'm that are going to be copied so selecting this one this one okay yeah now let's uh, get some of the modern pictures yeah for sure those two and I guess that's the most modern one so now I'm just gonna press control key I mean control C to copy and then control V obviously um, yeah just move them all over over here okay so um, now I'm going to perform a little trick so just get them in like this uh, now select this whole line just to get it out the way temporarily uh, lock it just in case and we locked it just so it doesn't get messed with uh, now turn on the magnet and uh, just decrease it to however long the intro is I think it's up to here okay and so yeah now just so we don't mess with the remaining uh, narration we can cut it I guess like up to here yeah, and, and let's see how that's gonna look Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to take a journey through time and explore the entire history of human civilizations. From the earliest known civilizations to the modern world we live in today, we'll cover it all. So, grab a seat. Okay, so again, we... I, I want to see how the video is going to perform if... Um, again, the edit is going to be very, very low effort. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna slide this down. Um, let's immediately choose a filter. That's one thing we can do. So I do have the pro version of CapCut and um, probably gonna go with this one. Begins around 10. Or there is one. Uh, Influential civilization. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this one. Uh, I use it quite often. Obviously decrease the strength uh, significantly. If you're using a free version of the CapCut, clear is pretty cool clear too uh yeah select it and apply obviously um so welcome back to our channel today we're going to take a journey through time and explore the entire history of human civilizations from the earliest known civilizations to the modern world we live in today we'll cover it all so grab a seat and get ready so i'm just thinking if i should do like animations here probably should Probably gonna apply a bunch of combo animations. I'll mute the audio so it doesn't uh, interrupt me. Definitely not. Yeah, I'll probably apply zoom. I don't think I'm gonna need transitions because it's already like a lot of movement. Uh, yeah, so my camera just died on me. Uh, but I was saying I'm not going to apply any transitions at least in the beginning. I don't think so because, it, well, it's already a lot of movement happening, so you don't want to just like pack, pack it with motion. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, that's not bad, is it? Yeah. So, now for the remaining... I feel like we can just do that for the whole video. Because the thing is, your video will not get monetized if you're just going to have static pictures. YouTube doesn't like that. But if they're all going to be moving, uh, it's fine with YouTube. So, um, yeah, maybe we do that. Um, at least we try it. If, if uh, the video is going to have like a very significant click-off rate, that's going to tell me that something is wrong with the edit or something is wrong period so the next video is going to be structured in a completely different way and uh, created using different methods but again we're just going to keep it fast it's called youtube animation after all right so let's just quickly apply it everywhere okay so that's done uh the next step would be yeah, I guess finding the effects. So in the beginning, I want to use just some kind of a, like a single effect. I don't think we're going to use uh, movement effects or that like fancy stuff. 
just some kind of a ambient like uh, for atmosphere let's see what i have in the favorites maybe this one Nah, no, nah. <laughs> let's delete it. Um, maybe there was... Maybe let's go with mist. And decrease the atmosphere to like 20, like this. And maybe also let's add uh, this one. So I think it was in the... Where was it? <laughs> Yeah, this one gold sparkles. So this would be in the celebrate section. Um, yeah, well, it's somewhere here. You'll find it. Uh, but I'm just going to quickly grab it from here. And actually, I think I'll apply it over the whole video. And so, but I'm going to do something tricky. So in the beginning, I want the effect to be like more intense and throughout the video less intense. So the way you do it is create a keyframe right here and a keyframe at the end and a keyframe at the beginning so uh yeah in the beginning we want it to be like let's say 90 and this keyframe we want it to be like maybe 30 and at the end also want it to be around 30 so that way well, you're going to see what happens. So keep your eyes right here at the top right uh, on this indicator. Just watch it decreasing. And uh, it's going to stay roughly in the 30s throughout the whole video. So that's how keyframing works. You just manually uh, select the intensity of certain things here and there. Um, and yeah, now it's just staying at this um, 40 to 30 level. Now let's uh, maybe add... Uh, there was another particular effect I'm looking for. Yeah, noise too. I think this one, I'll just drop it right away. I think this one is found in the retro section. Yeah, it's definitely in the retro section somewhere you can find it. Or black noise as well. So I'm just gonna, it adds that like historical look vibe. Definitely gonna speed uh, decrease it significantly. Also, I think it's too intense, this uh, effect. I don't like the intensity its intensity so what we can do is right click and create a compound clip now and we can uh, expand the blend section and decrease the opacity so that way it's kind of barely visible but visible enough yeah i think that's good enough for our first video again i don't care too much uh so to speak so yeah the next step is adding the music so yeah now we need some music you can go to the google doc right here again uh, for reference and uh, hit on this link and you're gonna land on epidemic sound so obviously create your account you can um, try it on the free trial terms for a week obviously i already have an account so i'm just gonna log in and uh, that's kind of the menu you're gonna see once you log in so uh, what i like to do usually is really listen through the music and kind of figure out the vibe uh, because Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to take a journey through time and explore the entire history of human civilizations from the earliest known civil... I just remembered to do one thing though. We forgot to do something that's kind of important. So hit on the adjustment right here and uh, extend the adjustment throughout the whole video and uh, scroll all the way down on the right side. Increase the vignette to about like 20. Gives that black edges and also decrease brightness Maybe it's a negative two and increase saturation just slightly. So it makes it look much better in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, now let's go to Epidemic Sound and just find the right song. Let's maybe look up some keywords like history. Maybe let's ask ChatGPT what kind of a song we can use. For this documentary yeah so i asked it what kind of music i could use for this documentary give genre keywords and now let's see what it gives us yeah chat is wild 
Um, oh, so it's it's suggesting different music for each chapter. That's uh, that's actually a cool idea. So let's do it. Okay, so for the entry um, intro, let's do this one. That's good enough. So let's apply it in the intro. So how, how did it determine the like where the audio ends? Let's see. So yeah, the Egypt is the start of the next song, okay? Well, I guess it's somewhere around here. Yeah, so right here is the start of the first chapter. So we wanted to start right here. So I'm just going to cut this intro off because it's to our channel. Like it's, it sounds boring. Uh, so it's going to start, I guess, somewhere here and end right here. Okay, let's look up the next uh, key term. Traditional ethnic. Yeah, I would have never come up with uh, these keyboards myself. I like this one right away. Oops. Okay, so yeah, let's always look always look for the beat drop. In this case, it's like right here. So even without listening, you know that it's the best part. So just put it right here. And uh, where does it end? Okay, Greeks and Romans. Okay. By the way, I think we will also have to adjust uh, this picture right here. The, uh, when I say adjust, it's it's kind of like not aligned. Uh, now let's turn off this one. Yeah, we can just do that. Um, if you're fixing links after the animations are applied, just uh, and make significant advance and apply it again. Uh, but yeah, now let's. Uh, apply the next song right here okay so yeah here we're gonna do classical orchestra i guess that's good enough uh so let's throw it in So where's, what's the next chapter looking like? Okay, middle age. Okay, so this one starts right here, I guess. Um, yeah. So right here. Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so it goes from here to about... Uh, 
Yeah, so about right here. So. Okay, so the Renaissance, Renaissance starts right here. So let's just uh, mark it. Okay, so the, for the Middle Ages, um, let's go with this one. Yeah, so I guess the Renaissance starts right here as I marked it. So um, let's actually ex shorten this one. Just kind of like this. Um, yeah, I guess redo animations on these. Full empires like the Byzantines. Okay, so yeah, now let's uh, move on to the next one. So for a rainy sounds, we need uh, this one. So let's quickly search for it. Okay, so it says modern era right here. Let's mark it. And this is where this song ends. Uh, so for the modern, it wants industrial ambient. Okay. So let's just do that. I have a better idea. I think hip hop music represents modern era. So uh, we're just going to do some hip hop music that I have used in my own videos. Um, yeah, I know this one. It's pretty. You know, we're, we're actually gonna keep it, uh, you know, so that by the end of the video, people are gonna get a little more excited, and because some of these songs are just flat out boring. Um, not boring, but you know, it's easy to get bored listening to these. Anyway, now let's select all the songs and uh, set them to maybe negative uh, 27 and select all the voice tracks and put them to like two probably and let's see how it all sounds now it's too loud let's just set it to zero so I just play around with the volume with each song individually until it sounds I think that's just a little too loud still. Let's do like negative 20 for all of them. I think this one we, let's use this part. Also, yeah, again, make sure for you're using like the beat drop parts for each song. So you're featuring the most like intense part of the song. Yeah, never mind. Uh, hip hop beat just sounds weird in this case. I think um, electronic ambient. What would that sound like? I have no idea. That's doable. So yeah, let's just go with this one, delete this one, and uh, yeah, at the end, I think that's where it finishes off. Yeah, okay, so 
at the end what what did uh, chat gpt suggest us pop electronic that sounds cool with me perfect uh so yeah the music is now done finally uh we could apply sound effects but i'll probably do it in the next videos um here's another reason to subscribe to the channel by the way and uh return so yeah now it's all set and good to go so the next thing you could do to make the audio sound clean uh, select them all and turn on the fade in and fade out so that uh, with the moon you can see what it means so without it it's just abrupt but with the fade in and fade out it's kind of like smooth okay so one last thing is obviously fixing this animation okay so now let's apply the captions uh, just go to text and auto captions hit English and uh, generate them so yeah once they're done generated or once uh, while they are generating let's go to Canva and uh, let's actually start creating our uh, thumbnail you can go to Photopea as well like I said previously it doesn't matter uh, but I'll be using Canva so cr uh, click on create a design choose a YouTube thumbnail and now let's uh, select uh, or I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna import a picture that we used what would be like the most uh, the best looking one mm, that's a hard decision it definitely should feature humans maybe the, I think this one and it there is a I can already you know I can already see how we're gonna position the text so we're probably gonna import it and position it like that okay so now let's edit the photo uh, we're definitely going to go to adjust and we're going to increase the vignettes we are going to increase the brightness a little bit just play around with these settings they're not like there's no such thing as uh, correct settings in this case it's all art really uh, so I always like to increase saturation for sure now let's uh, Maybe look for sunlight. Yes, yeah, something like this. Uh, and now let's decrease transparency just slightly. And now we can apply some kind of a text. So now I'm actually going to create the text and uh, let's just go and see how they do the text. So, okay, they just do simple white text. Um, so let's let's copy this format um why not what worked for them is very likely to work for us so let's um apply this text right here now delete this part and um yeah let's just write entire human history now to make it all in the same line i think we're gonna do it in the same line just extend this box significantly and now uh just make it smaller oops and uh, yeah, just place it somewhere right here. And uh, make it white, obviously. Yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, make it bold. I think it's what we could do to slightly improve it was we can go to shadows. And we can search for a black shadow like that. Uh, just make it, you know, as big as the text box is. Like that. We can also go to edges right here and we can corner around it. So it's kind of like exactly uh, the size of the text. Just make sure it exactly matches the text. Okay, that's fine. We can just decrease the transparency of the, obviously of the shadow. Yeah, that that's better for sure. Okay, so it doesn't have to be that perfect, actually. People are not going to pay attention to it anyways. Um, so let's select the two, actually make 
a bit bigger. The size of the whole thumbnail. Yeah, like that. Um, should we position it at the top, actually? No, let's keep it at the bottom. Uh, like that. Okay, so now let's just download it and have it ready to go. So we already have our thumbnail, which is great. Uh, that was super quick. And now our captions are ready. Uh, now we just also need to quickly edit the captions and our video is pretty much done. Uh, let's just... Uh, so now to do edit the captions, just click on them and uh, choose one of the templates. Uh, there is a particular one I always choose. But I always just like to try new ones because there are so many in CapCut. Let's try this one. I've never tried it. But let's position it right here at the center. And let's see how that's going to look. Turn off the audio so it doesn't interrupt me. Maybe let's increase the shadow. For sure. So create a shadow or a background. Decrease, make the opacity like barely visible. Uh, decrease heights, decrease width. You guys tell me if it's cringe or not. I think it's cringe, but I'm just going to keep it like that. Anyway, now go through the captions and make sure they're all like nicely aligned. So by extending them like that. But for the mo most part, they are good. Okay. Um, perfect. I guess we're good to go. Let's just, again, that's, that's a very simple video. It's our first video on the channel, so it doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to be learning as we're going to be uploading. Um, this is, the, I, I'll remind you, this is first of many videos in this series of me running this channel and uh, getting it on the track. So uh, yeah, now let's just hit export. And while it's doing the job, obviously select 1080p. If you have CapCut Pro, export it with captions. Uh, if not, that's fine. So while that's doing its thing, let's uh, navigate to TubeMagic. So while the video is exporting, let's actually navigate to TubeMagic and uh, get some data that we can work with. So first of all, let's get a description for it. So I'm just going to write that it's uh, obviously about the entire uh, history of humanity. I think I'll title it in four minutes. So it's more catchy. And uh, let's hit generate. Okay, so now let's go to our channel. And we're just ready to upload, waiting for uh, CapCut to finish. So our video is finally exported. Uh, now let's go to our channel and upload the video. So just obviously go to upload. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, choose your video. Uh, right away, do some important things. So navigate here and choose no. Even if your kid, uh, sorry, even if your video is suitable for kids, always select no. Otherwise, it's going to be like restricted. Uh, click no. That's a new feature from YouTube. Basically, basically asks if you used AI in your video. And even though we used AI, what it really asks you is if you uh, created like fake footage. For example, like Elon Musk saying something he didn't say. If you if you're creating something like this, you would hit yes. Otherwise, always hit no, or your video will be suppressed. Um, yeah, these ones are fine. Select English is important because so YouTube knows who to show you this video to. Choose the recording date. I select the category as education. I don't know. I think it's the right thing. So now go to subtitles and uh, obviously upload our. It's very crucial to. It's very crucial to get you, to help your video to get be pushed to more people. I have no videos to import like long form videos. Ideally, you should be importing long form videos in here, but uh, I'll go with what I have. So I'll just import this one, whatever. Oh, shorts cannot be important, apparently. So uh, whatever, I'll just leave it like this. Um, yeah, we're going to add card. No, we don't add cards. Um, yeah, obviously now let's create the title. So our title is entire human history. We should definitely add something else like uh, maybe in four minutes. Okay, so now let's upload our thumbnail. Now let's, uh, the video should be in a playlist. Uh, let's just name it popular videos for now. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as it's in a playlist. Again, if you want to know more about uh, uploading and SEO and how to get your channel monetized as fast as possible, I have this video on my channel, full monetization course. 
go watch it after you're done with this video. Um, so yeah, I think, well, obviously, okay, we need the description, which we already created. Uh, so let's copy it. And uh, now we need the tags for the video. We can also do it in TubeMagic. So uh, let's go to AI Tools. Let's go to Video Tags. Okay, so now let's just uh, copy these tags, paste them in here. Um, so I think we're pretty much done. I don't see what else we're missing out on. So it looks like my audience is mostly active at 9 a.m. So that's uh, when I'm going to schedule my video. Schedule it for tomorrow at 9 a.m. And uh, I think we're done. Can't believe it. Congratulations, you made it to the end. As I promised in the beginning, now I will reveal my plans to make money with this channel. This channel will be a long-term project of mine, so to build income, it will take time. However, before we get into the money part, I have a question for you guys. Since this is a public channel that I am creating, I want the community to choose the next topic. So, what topic should I cover next? I was thinking of doing a video about pirates and their adventures, or the Roman Empire and gladiators. Another alternative would be something about World War II, but let me know what you think, guys. I am very curious. I am open to all kinds of suggestions. Okay, okay, enough of blah, blah, blah. Let's talk money, you feel me? So, the first and most obvious way to make money with this channel will be ad revenue. Now, hear me out. Moving forward, I will be primarily creating longer videos, like at least 10 minutes in length. That will allow me to place multiple ad rolls on the video. YouTube requires the video to be 8 minutes or longer to be able to do that. Furthermore, from the research I have done, the historical need has one of the highest RPMs, aka some of the highest payouts, almost equal to the finance niche. With that said, we're going to be banking in a few months once this channel is fully rolling. Of course, I am not done here. There will be two additional business models I will be looking to implement. First, I will find a product to promote and exercise the affiliate marketing model, probably some kind of a historical book or anything else that history geeks would want to buy. We will cover this in future videos. The next model will be creating a clothing brand with historical logos, like a t-shirt with pirates or gladiators, something in that nature. I think it should do quite well. Anyway, let me pass the mic back to my creator. So subscribe to the channel if you like the video. Gonna link a playlist right here and a video right here. Uh, go watch them, a lot of useful information in there. Also keep in mind the Google Doc, I'm gonna link it in the description. I'm gonna work on it, add some more steps so you can actually follow it along. Uh, all the links are gonna be here. Everything that you could possibly need for this tutorial is going to be here. But with all that said, I'm out. Okay, bro. Now it is time to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Yes, sir.